moving into place at Pyongyang's airport. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un gave the order just hours ahead of Saturday's surprise launch, state media says. This intercontinental ballistic missile, a Hwasong-15, hitting hypersonic speeds, hurtling high above the earth, barreling back down to Japan's territorial waters about 67 minutes later. Saturday's missile, one of many on display just last week, a record number of ICBMs, more than any military parade in North Korean history. Kim ordered mass production of ICBMs earlier this year, the parade featuring new missiles and a new face, Kim Jue, Kim's daughter, believed to be just nine years old. She began appearing on state media three months ago, fueling speculation she's being groomed as the next North Korean leader. So given the fact that Kim Jong-un chose to introduce his daughter on the day of his previous ICBM launch, what do you make of the timing and symbolism of that? I think it, it demonstrates that she's being groomed as the, the next leader. And uh, that to me suggests there could be something behind the scenes, maybe a health problem with Kim Jong-un that is uh, accelerating a need to do this now rather than years later when she's a bit older. Kim's daughter now a fixture on state media sitting with her father at a weekend soccer match, posing together for a postage stamp, dad, daughter, and the family arsenal. Two smaller missiles fired Monday, a test of tactical nuclear weapons, State TV says. The bellicose broadcast came with a warning from Kim's younger sister, Kim Yo-jong, saying the frequency of using the Pacific Ocean as our shooting range depends on the nature of the U.S. military's actions. She's referring to upcoming military drills on the Korean Peninsula. The U.S., South Korea, and Japan responding to the ICBM launch with joint air exercises over the weekend, fueling fears of further escalation. If North Korea conducts the seventh nuclear test, which could happen at any time, it will be a game changer in a sense that North Korea could develop and deploy tactical nuclear missiles. A growing arsenal, some say has one purpose, preserving the power of the ruling Kim family for generations to come.